In this short video, we will show you how to generate story data in the RAM modeler for the purpose of building your three-dimensional building structure. Now, what we're going to notice for this particular model is that we've already created two floor layouts, a concrete floor and a steel floor. And we're at the point where we're ready to build our three-dimensional structure. To start that process, we're going to go up to the main menu and select the story item. Now, within the story data dialog, we're going to start entering the information for each level of the structure. Now, in the RAM modeler, the story data is used to assign layout types to various levels of the building and to indicate story labels and story heights. Let's go ahead and start with the first floor of our structure. And I'm going to start with a concrete floor. We're going to enter our floor to floor height, which is this is basically the level for which this floor is going to be at to the level projected below. So let's go ahead and enter 12 feet for a story height. We're going to enter our label or story name. Let's go ahead and call it first floor. And then we can indicate whether or not it's a splice level. Now, if something is designated as a splice level, what you're doing is you're basically telling the program that the size of the column or the concrete reinforcement can change at that level as it works its way up. So I'm going to go ahead and say, no, this is not a splice level. And then we're going to finish this off by clicking Add. And we have now defined our first floor of our structure. Let's go ahead and also define a second floor. So let's go ahead and say second floor. We're going to say it's a steel floor now. We're going to use the steel floor layout. And then we'll go ahead and click Add. Now let's go ahead and finish this off by clicking OK. And let's see what our three-dimensional structure looks like so far. So up in the View toolbar, let's go ahead and say we want to take a look at our 3D view. And then we can see exactly what we created. Our first floor consists of our concrete level. And our second floor consists of our steel level. So let's return to the RAM modeler. And let's continue building our story data for our three-dimensional structure. So let's go up to the story area. Now what you should know in the RAM structural system is that a single layout type may be used on multiple levels, but the levels must be adjacent to each other. Identical levels that are not adjacent will require additional layouts for each additional level. So if I want to add a third floor onto this structure, what I need to make sure first of all is that my level says 3 here. I'm going to enter my floor height. Let's go ahead and say 12 feet. I'm going to say steel level and let's call this the third floor. Now, even though I use the steel floor for the second floor, I can use it again as the third floor. Now, I wouldn't be able to, at this point, add in the concrete floor on top of the steel floor because identical levels must be adjacent to each other. Otherwise, I'm going to need an additional layout. So let's go ahead and click the Add button, and we've added that in. Now, if we need to modify something, what we could do is we can click on it, and say I want to change my floor to floor height. So I've selected my second floor and I want to say that this is now at 11 feet instead of 12. So I'm going to highlight it and then I can click change and then the story data is updated. And I could do the same thing for the third floor. Let's go ahead and say 11. Now the level number is going to be important because as you change levels, um, so say I want this one to go to 3, change. What that does is it bumps down the other level because everything needs to have a unique level number. So let's go ahead and click OK. And let's look at our three-dimensional view. So here I can see that my 3D view has added a new level on it with the changes I just made in the story data. Now let's return back to the modeler and the story data one last time. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over a new feature that's now available within RAM Structural System, which is a story data generator. So for this example, we're going to assume that we want to generate 10 additional floors, all using the steel floor layout. So let me go ahead and clean up my story data by deleting the two steel floors I had before. And then let's enter some information. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it which layout I want to use. I want to use my steel floor layout. Then I'm going to come down and select the Generate option. This is going to give me some additional fields here. So what level do I want to start at and end at? Well, I want to start at level 2, 
And let's say I want to go up to level 12, for example. Now, at some point throughout that high rise structure, I am going to expect some splice levels, but I don't want to splice the columns at every single level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the program to create some splice levels. But if I select this alternate checkbox, what it's going to do is it's going to splice the columns at every other level. Then in the generate area down here, I can tell the program how I want it to label each floor because it's going to automatically generate the story label. So let's go ahead and we're going to use words for this model. So I'll say first floor, that's the style I want. Um, let's go ahead and say second. And then I can add things here like so. Just to be consistent, I'm going to call mine second floor. I can also, you know, enter a number here. And so this is a preview of what those labels are going to end up looking like. So now once I'm satisfied with everything, oh, including setting up my floor to floor height. So once I'm satisfied with everything, let's go ahead and click the add button. And we can see here that the program automatically generated my high rise structure. So if I finish this off and click OK, and let's go to our 3D view. Now we can see how easy it was to create a multi-story structure where all of the floor plans are basically the same. Let's go ahead and exit out of the 3D and then we can continue with our, our modeling process. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.